Yes. Absolutely. Oh, Wonderful. How do you feel about that? I love it. <laughs> Everything is bigger in Texas, including our family. We grew up as sister cousins. Sister cousins. That's me, my girls. You got somebody to gossip with. She shares some crazy stuff. You got somebody to talk about your husband's with. When do y'all share y'all bank accounts? Some more stuff. <laughs> and we work together. We sure do work together, Lord. Lord yes. <laughs> At one of the most prestigious black-owned real estate companies in Texas. I'm the oldest, but Nicole, Jaquita, Keisha, they're right behind me. Monet! On they came a little bit later on, but she's still very close. We two kids to be working out. Nicole is going to tell you how she feels. And you better get over it. Let's get to this business. Let's get to this right? money. I got million dollar houses to sell. Four million dollar houses to sell. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. How long we going to pull this family card? Jamisha is definitely the yin to my yang. She going to kill me for saying this, but she's overly dramatic. Prestigious. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to use my Madam Broker for it. <laughs> Excuse me, Madam Broker is speaking. <laughs> Let me tell you about my sister, Jaquita. She's loose at the mouth. She go for the gutter. If you want me to apologize, I will, but it won't be genuine. We grew up together. We have four generations of family. Everybody in Houston knows the Brayton name. That's all thanks to our grandfather and grandmother, Frank and Oscarine Brayden. They were real estate entrepreneurs. Our grandparents' legacy, it lives on, and it lives on through us. We call ourselves the G2s. We have the aunts and the uncles. My mom, they follow in G1. People say you cannot work with family. I am a true living testament that you can. We're bosses. Yeah, right. You get to slap them. You get to cuss them out. He should have been in the meeting. He the one who created this mess. And you get to be right back together. Good afternoon. Happy rodeo season. I love everybody, but we all have problems. You're not going to be disrespectful to one another. Leave me alone about Shut the up. I love working with you yeah. guys. I do too. Yeah, I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Take your time. Rodeo season. How y'all doing? Yes, let's round them up. We're gonna have our weekly meeting in about 10 minutes. So if you don't have your updates, now's the time to start preparing for them. All right. Let me go check on Jamisha. What's Jamisha? Did you bring up the sales meeting? It's really important that we get this house under a contract. When we started the brokerage of Brayden Real Estate Group, it was an accidental blessing, okay? I want to see that close and I want to see it in escrow. Hey, Cole. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. hey, hey. Thanks, Amari. Hey, you ready for the meeting? Yes. We didn't have a plan. We just realized we didn't want to work for anybody else. We wanted to create our own real estate journey and the vision and the value of what we know. And what we know is family. We're wrapping up Q1, so we will go over all of the Q1 projections. Everybody else has their talking points. Well, let's get ready for this meeting, so okay. I don't want to keep them waiting. All right. Nicole and I expressed our interest in getting our real estate license to Granny, and she paid for it. And now Brayden Real Estate Group has completely surpassed my greatest expectations. How are y'all today? We good. We're good. Is everybody prepared? Yeah. We are. Always. Always. Always, always. 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 always Miss Handy. Let's start off with Q1 projections. We are projected to have a $52 million in sales volume. Yes. Wow. So, yeah. Q1. Yeah. Q1. Yeah. Q1. Yeah. I remember we started off with like five agents. <laughs> the five of the agents. Jaquita and Nikki, Monet, they were like, oh, y'all not leaving us behind. Let's just give Jaquita a round of applause. Yes. She will be bringing 19 new listings oh, yes. to break real estate group. No, look at you taking over the meeting, OK? Congratulations. I started off as a full-time pharmacist. I made more as a part-time realtor. And then I was like, what the f I'm working, working hard at this pharmacy for it. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. We have our Braden Company photo shoot coming up. Ooh. The attire will be all black Braden fashion. Is Chris ready? Of course he's ready. He stays ready. Okay, okay. perfect. All right, all perfect. All right now, Mrs. Martin. Mm -hmm. It's not only the sister cousins that are part of this real estate dynasty. It's also the husbands. My husband, he's a top producing agent. We also have Jaquita's husband, Chris. He's our talented videographer and photographer. 
The only husband that doesn't work at Braden Real Estate Group is Larry. That's Nicole's husband. Larry is always working. But to be honest, I think he would be perfectly okay with being a house husband. So Nicole, go sell some more houses. We're gonna have to wrap it up because we have to get on to the family dinner. But uh, thank y'all so much for your thank updates. You. We appreciate it. And we'll see y'all Y'all have a great evening. evening. Say good evening. Right. Jump. I'm in a high rise. So what's on the menu? Oxtails, smothered pork chops, smothered chicken, fried chicken. Then your brother added the brisket. When the Brayden family gets together, we eat. We from Texas. We from the South. We fellowship over food. Oh, we love food. Oh, food makes us happy. Food is our love language, as you can tell by our hips. Everything is bigger in Texas, including the people. Hello, Hello auntie. It's a lot of us that make up this Brayden family. We have my mom, my aunts, my uncle, and then all of their children, my cousins. Whew. The matriarch of the Braden family is none other than Oscarine Braden. And with a name like Oscarine, you ain't got no choice but to run some sh You know what I mean? She keeps us together. She works hard, we work hard, and that's how we show our love for her. You see Granny? Say hey, Granny. <laughs> Aw, you smiling when you see Granny? <laughs> yes, what you do today? Oh, cook. You cook Granny? <laughs> Oscarine, Granny, she had something like a stroke uh, that impacted her vocal cords, but the speech might not be sharp, but her mind is. Hey, Granny. No, we, we, ready, we ready to eat now. Can we start eating now? Oh, who we waiting on? The handies? So she'll be here soon. She'll be here soon. Do y'all want to get in a circle? We're gonna, uh, we're gonna pray. Uncle Bob, if you could lead us in prayer. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the Braden family. Thank you for the ones who prepared the food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Hey, everybody. Uh, I know everybody hungry. I don't want to be the one between y'all and y'all food, but Quita, if you could share the special sentiment today. Yes, yeah, so in honor of the January birthdays, we had something special made in memory of our loving Paw Paw. Papa passed away a little over a year ago. Papa was the kindest soul. He was the balance that we need to Granny, okay? We're like, Granny, can we have some money? She be like, what y'all need money for? Papa was like, just take this, but don't tell Granny. But yeah, but we just can't have this dinner without uh, thinking about the patriarch of our family and the beauty that he left with us as a collective. So let's eat, because that's what Papa would want us to do. Yes, amen. You make barbecue sauce? <laughs> it does not need barbecue sauce. Yeah. Jay, Jay, some sauce. people want no, barbecue no, sauce no. for their barbecue. Some people don't know how to barbecue. Mm. You need barbecue sauce mm. on the brisket. I don't need barbecue sauce. So, you, so your brisket. My stuff juicy. <laughs> your stuff I juicy. Your stuff juicy. Hey, what's going on? I can't wait me to eat. Well, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry. We, could, we couldn't wait too much. Nicole Denise is always gonna show up fashionably late. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. I'm never really late for my family. It's just I'm not there as soon as they get there. I'm not, never late for those that pay me, honey. I'm never late to the checks. <laughs> Well, we hate Larry could make it. Right. I'm gonna pack my plate. Yes, but... make sure you take him some oxtails. I know, because especially Charlotte cooks them, so yes. you know he'll eat anything that Charlotte cooks. Yeah. For the past month, he's been working the night shift, so he won't be able to come to anything. Right now, Larry's on a night project at his job. He works consistently 12 hour shifts. And actually, this is something we've been dealing with for years. When we first got married, he worked two weeks on, two weeks off. So he was literally away from the home for two full weeks at a time. You know, I'll be honest, there was some issues in the past. We gotta take more time for each other. We just gotta put a little effort into it. Well, I'll be honest, I've been holding on to a lot of things like internally, like grudges I've had towards you from things that you've done in the past. I don't feel like it's cool for us to be sitting in a house and not talking to each other. And I'm too old to start over now. I've been out of the game too oh, no, long. I'm not too old to start over. I mean, I think I'm a good kid. It's not easy finding intimacy when you're basically on two totally different schedules. Larry always have to work. Story of our lives. He'll be hopefully at the next big function we have. Coming up on Family Empire. We need you in the office. No. What you mean? There's no point. 
We need to make sure that Granny understands this could be million dollars worth of property that stays in the family name. Growing up as a kid, I would see little things, you know, that kind of bothered me. We were taking pictures. You know, I'm kind of left out the picture because this is just our family. Brady! We can't joke with a sensitive sister. Y'all have a good night. Nicole. Thanks for the crawfish. You're welcome. Don't take this microphone off me. Y'all got a little more plate of food. We're about to break. Hey, Kiki. Hey, Kiki. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kiki. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kiki. 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 Hey, Kiki.
Granny has had that land in the family for over 30 years. So she's been accruing a tax bill on that land, and I definitely understand. It's not my money, but hell no, I don't want Granny to sell this property to some stranger. This is an opportunity to magnify the legacy of the Braden family in the Northeast Houston area. The land is legacy. As your firstborn and loved grandchild, you know, we, we want to make sure that the legacy that you left is not just spent. We want to use that property to build, develop on it, and that's why it's so important for us to build generational wealth through real estate. Okay. Okay. This is my idea. Okay, this Granny. Is your idea. Mm -hmm. They are not like it. I want to pay all the children home. I own. My children, not the grandchildren. Not the grandchildren. With the recent passing of my grandfather, it gives everybody an additional sense of urgency to get their affairs in order. And that's what Granny is trying to do. She wants the cash for her children that she loves dearly before her number is called. Hey, I got to think of my children first. Now, I'm not saying we're not trying to get it for free, Granny, because yeah. I know you've been well, paying you taxes for a long time. I'm her representative, representative, and I say we need to wrap it up and move on to the next topic. It's just something that can be answered today. Coming up on Family Empire. It's a five bedroom, mm -hmm. five full bath, mm -hmm. 6,000 square feet, mm -hmm. premium lots for $1.4 million. I don't think it's bad. If you work hard, it'll pay off. That's what they tell me. That's what they say every day. You can catch me on my GRI. As co-CEO of Braden Real Estate Group, I always say everything you want is on the other side of fear. I will not be afraid to take that next step. And I think that's what's made me such the businesswoman that I am today. Cut this light on. Oh. I absolutely did not start out doing luxury. Just being honest, my average sales price, my first full-time year in real estate may have been like $250,000, but I sold 51 of those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, hello. Isn't this fabulous? You see these lights? Yes. Oh I'm like, it's so good to see you again. Good to it's see been a while. Thank you, you for making about. time. You're welcome. So I've been working with Solange for a couple of months. She's one of my luxury clients. She is one of the top surgeons in the Houston area. First impression. I love this. You love it? I know one of the things you said, it had to be grand when you walked in. Yes, that's my thing. When I saw it, I'm like, okay, I think this is the one. Let's see. Well, come on. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about the home. It's a five bedroom, mm -hmm. five full bath, mm -hmm. 6,000 square feet, mm -hmm. premium lots. And I got you, one of the things you said, a water lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're moving in the right You're direction. Doing so okay, so let's, let's take a look. See. Let's check out the primary bedroom. Stop. That tic tac toe. The that's woodwork, it. the ceiling woodwork. That's work. it. This custom. I'm telling you, there's so many custom items in this home. You ready? You ready? Uh oh. You ready? Nikki! <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! Yes! These jets? These are jets. So this is a freestanding free jetted tub, fully custom dual head shower, floor to ceiling ceramic tiles. Nikki, isn't this so amazing? Right, let's isn't go talk so about grand? these numbers. Let's just go talk about isn't these numbers. So, grand? so this house is on the market for one point four million dollars. I don't think it's bad. Solange's budget started off around eight hundred thousand dollars. But as we started looking, honey, she has fabulous taste and she want more. So the budget did go up to about 1.5 million. This is a beautiful home, but I am worried about traffic. So I came here after work. Nikki, I'm a surgeon. 
I gotta be able to get back and forth to the hospital with ease. It took me more than an hour to get here. But additionally, we have to think about your price point and what that gets you. This house in the city would be $2.5 million. Very yeah, easy, I right? Can see that. So I know the traffic might be a little bit of a headache, mm -hmm. right? But you'll get a much larger home. Well, okay, so I think I still wanna make an offer that's lower than what they want for this house. Okay. Right now, interest rates are really high. People aren't buying, and I want to maximize on that. Absolutely. So I just let them know that I'm not willing to pay that price. Solange doesn't have children right now, but when she has children, they will be able to benefit from that one piece of property. This is what we do at Brayton. We create generational wealth. I will go and I will run numbers on okay. comparable homes in this area and see where we're priced. Mm -hmm. Then let's make a competitive offer against that. Just make sure you tell them that I'm not, this is not something that I would move forward with unless I got what I wanted. Coming up on Family Empire. So what is your hesitancy to coming to the office? It is not okay for you to not be present. Curing the land right. for our generation mm -hmm. to build and begin the development process. We can't let this go, like this is a gem. How, How are you? Doing? Mm -hmm. Can you believe this building has been up for what, 30 some years? I still remember like the grand opening. We had the mayor come out. Yeah, the, the mayor. It was just a big, even though I don't think we actually had a ribbon, but it was a very <laughs> yeah. big ribbon ceremony. I remember yeah. all of that. Granny and Pawpaw were able to acquire lots of land off of Homestead, a street in Northeast Houston. They lived nearby and they were able to build businesses, build homes, build a community. And that's what we should all be doing. We should be bettering the communities that we lived in. And that's part of their legacy. I know we were going over to the lot today. Oh, I invited Aunt Nikki. Okay. I know we tabled it yeah, we at the tabled, family we dinner. It, so, but we need so to figure out what's what. We're bringing all the five. But we'll bring She's one of them. She's their representative. She's representative. That's good enough. I'd rather work with Aunt Nikki. <laughs> so, so yeah. <laughs> Hey, Nikki, how you doing? Oh, Look pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boost, I yeah. Know. We gotta represent Texas. You wanna start heading over there or what? Yeah. This win, ugh. Being disrespectful. Yeah, it's definitely being disrespectful. <laughs> so yeah, we can get over there. Ain't Nikki is the gatekeeper to Granny's real estate holdings, okay? But I wanted to bring Nikki out to the land. I want her to envision what could be done with the land and getting her on board too, because she could talk to the G1s and get them to understand what could be done from a real estate perspective. And not only that, I needed her to talk to Granny. I hear Jamisha out, but <laughs> I can't make any promises. Papa did say he wanted the land to go to the G2s, but I am Granny's real estate agent, and she wants to sell it and give it to the G1s now. Damn it, Nikki, what the hell happened to your sign? <laughs> Leave my sign alone, please. <laughs> That's, I was getting it fixed this weekend. I'm, I'm be, glad, because uh, you can't have the break long that Oh, now look at bootleg. We don't do bootleg now. The Brayton oh, way. Wow. So being on it, I feel how deep the it's property very goes. Deep. This land versus all the other land that Granny has, it's on a major, major street. street. It's the largest in this area. Mm -hmm. Like I think we can have almost 50 doors. You saying 50? Uh, on the property, depending about the size and the layout. And I think this is the time to kind of solidify, like what, what, can, what can we do with it versus selling it. But, but no, with the appraisal is coming in, because mm -hmm. it's appraised value at $865,000. But when you and she first, paid what, $72,000? 72, $72, correct. Right. So when you listed it for sale, it was kind of like, oh, oh, hold up, this, this is, is real. real. Right. The, the amount of development that's happening in the city, right. Right. that is moving in this direction. direction. It's so 10 minutes from downtown. And 10 minutes from downtown. It's even that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the amount of equity growth yeah. in that amount of time, and so that's the part, just securing the land right. for our generation mm -hmm. to build and begin the development process. We can't let this go, like this is a gem. Houston is a thriving metroplex. Currently, in the center of Houston, you have these great development that's coming to the area. But what happens when those areas fill up? They push out further north into the loop. And that's where we are. And now it is the perfect time to invest in the community of Northeast Houston. 
Do we know how much the taxes are first? Because that's her main thing. I can't keep paying taxes on this land. It's too expensive. Yeah, almost $35,000 a year. But no, but the re no, the real part is we need to make sure that Granny understands that it's not a $72,000 investment. It's not the taxes. It's this could be million dollars worth of property that stays in the family names. If they can't see that this could possibly be an almost five to ten million dollar project that we have here, mm -hmm. then I don't know what to say. You know how I was at the dinner when you brought it up? Yeah. It was just too much chatter. I've always told you. You've always said that. I need this mm -hmm. to stay just... Stay, stay tight. Stay tight. Yeah. Seeing Jamisha so passionate about the land, yeah, I'm, I'm sold. I can see the potential. But for the other G1s and Granny, she definitely has to sell them. And if you're gonna take $800,000 out of the G1's pocket, you better make sure the return is great. Let's go fix this sign. Thank you, Lord <laughs> Jesus. Because it's driving before us Before we have to go back yeah. to... Okay. I don't sign. think we're going to be able to fix this. I'm going to no, get my sign get... Bubba, out. you don't have to get Bubba to come back out here. I'm not into manual labor. Okay. I'm good. Oh my God. Ooh, hey y'all, hey everybody. How are you? Hey, hey, good morning. Hey, good How morning. Are you? We just about ready to go? Uh, we getting there, yeah, you're ready. Okay, so y'all gonna do head shots first and then we're gonna yeah, do the Yeah, then we're rolling to the group shot. Okay. Good morning. Brayden Real Estate Group started off with Jamisha and I. We couldn't even afford our own office. Let's talk about black excellence at its finest, okay? Now we're roughly at 100 agents in five years. I'm extremely proud of that. We're not gonna hold y'all long. I know y'all feet hurt, and trust me, they don't hurt as bad as mine. <laughs> Keisha, find out uh, who's all Gen 8 for their headshots. Gen 8. Yeah. Y'all look fabulous. Everyone looks good. Misha, Nicole, I need y'all headshots. Being a braiding woman, it is something else. No, put that piece down. Keisha, push it that way. As I was growing up as a kid, I, I really didn't know where my place was. I would see little things, you know, that kind of bothered me. We was at an event and we were taking pictures. You know, I'm kind of left out the picture because this is just our, this is our family. Nicole, Monet, I felt like I wasn't as welcome as I should have been, like how I was with my Aunt Jackie. Quita and Jamisha were my cousins, but we did feel like sister cousins. Brandon! Okay, everybody else, let's start coming to try to fill in. Back up, back up. Everybody, thank you all so much. I remember when we were five agents, so I'm trying not to cry. Uh, but I appreciate y'all so much. And this means, this moment is so surreal for me. When we started the brokerage, Nicole and I, it was just a crazy idea we had that my grandmother kind of spoke that life into us. <laughs> Thank y'all, thank y'all. It was truly God's design for us to be able to have this brokerage, to be able to pour into these people and base it off the values and the excellence that our family portrayed. That's why we had to name the brokerage Braden Real Estate Group. So did y'all like the place? I loved it. I loved it. It was a great choice. I really, really loved it. As we go into next week, my hope is that we can set specified days for you to come back into the office. So what is your hesitancy to come into the office? It is not okay for you to not be present. Coming up on Family Empire. Talking about strengthening a relationship, do you make a mockery of it? It wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, who, me? Yeah. Oh. Let's have some set in office days for you. Need you to come into the office. It is not okay for you to not be present. Cause I honestly need you to take initiative sometimes and not just always wait on us. We have to work together. When I fall back, then it becomes... Well, Chris, you can't fall back on a job that you're getting paid to do. What is going on, guys? Well, and I was just telling Chris that we need him to take more of an initiative. I was just waiting on y'all direction, is what I'm saying. This is why you need to be in the office. Wait, what's the going office? on? 
What's going on? We okay. need his creative direction in the office. For everybody else is doing this, I want to do something different. I want us to stand out. I want us to be, as Misha speak, on Brady fashion. So I really have visions that I need to be able to grow also. If I'm in charge of the marketing, trust me in some ideas. So here what I'm saying before is just a uh, definite no or you ain't no type of thing. I don't think we've ever told you no. My brother-in-law, he is very passionate. He don't want to come into the office because he don't feel like we respect him. I don't care if you don't feel respected, bet you you feel this paycheck. If you guys want me to come to the office, okay. maybe we need to do a contract so we there's no... I, uh, that's the one thing we all on the same page about, yeah. I think we need to put everything in right going yep. forward. Absolutely. I mean, I'm so down for a contract. No room for Chris to get out of his duties. Finally. I'm hungry. Can y'all come over to my house later on today? I'll be there. I'm Let's go hungry. Eat. I'm so I'm hungry. hungry. I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. Yep. All you right, y'all. This is great. Good job, everybody. Bye, Chris. Excuse me, come. Uh, get... I want you, honey. What time are you supposed to be here? They were supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. <laughs> That's why. I, you know me, I don't wait. <laughs> Fun, relaxed setting. Uh, maybe a few drinks, you know, they get mm -hmm. everybody loose and talking mm -hmm. and... You know, y'all give me a two drink max. No, you one and a half drink. <laughs> Not one and a half, dang. Oh, somebody Somebody's here. here. Oh, hey, you guys. Hey, I'm here. Kiki. Mm -hmm. Not y'all already started eating. <laughs> we only wait on company. You're not company, you family. So we wasn't waiting on you to eat our crawfish. Go on and grab your beer. Keisha, every time we get together, you know what I always think about? What? That time you ran away. <laughs> when we had that fight. Yeah, yeah, we had that fight. She went into the pantry. Oh, yeah, and took all the food. She took all the food out the... She took Twinkies and <laughs> She took them frozen meals, too. <laughs> I did take some meat. I had took some meat. You I remember that. <laughs> Quit to go check on it and see what she had. I know what I was I'm picking around that corner. She had the mailbox. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I was bad. I didn't really. You was real yeah, bad. Oh my God. <laughs> no, those were the good old days. It wasn't as stressful. Mm hmm. I just want to prep you before Nicole gets here. I don't want to make it, you know, you know, uncomfortable or anything like that, but I do want to talk about y'all. You know, yeah. like, I do want to talk about it. develop that. We want to talk about that relationship. Bond. I can't even imagine uh, what you're going through. Even the way we grieved over Paw Paw. Yeah. And that was our grandfather. Yeah. And to have to deal with double grief. Right. With Paw Paw passing and then your mom passing not too far after that. But that's why it's been on me and Quita's heart so heavy is because I want us to be tighter. Well, since my mom passed, I do need them now in my life. You know, I don't have that. I don't have my mom, you know, here anymore. So, sorry. Um, you know, everybody had their mom, and I'm the only one. You know, mom passed away. We was real close. Like, I took care of my mom. This whole time I'm out of her life, I knew she was sick. You know, I, I have a good support system, but, I, you know, I do want to be, have that closer support system. At the end of the day, it's just us. We got to get right together because mm -hmm. You need us more than you yeah. ever, ever needed us before. Ever, ever. Don't I'm really open with that because, like, now, you know, like, I do need my family. I do need you guys. You, you see how you're being all open, transparent, fun? When the call get in here, be yeah. the same Keisha. You be hard, Keisha. My wall had got built up. That's all. Well, we going to yeah. break it down. Get that wall down because we want for you all to build that relationship. It ain't no wall in between me and this hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Bambi. Oh, look, Hello. see, Bambi loves me. Bambi does love you. How are you? Hey, Holly. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey, Nicole. Hey. What you been doing today, Miss Diva? <laughs> Don't call me out like that. <laughs> oh, uh, if you want to get a beer before you sit down, you may want to do I do not want a beer, but can okay. I have some champagne, Prosecco? Who does Prosecco with crawfish? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. Woo, All right. Yeah. You did good. Quitty, 
I mean, he's pretty glass. thick. Yeah, go on and give me one. Don't fill it up, though, because... Quit yeah. is on a glass number two of beer. Well, Y'all know how Quita get when she gets to drinking now. If you go out and you see Quita with her second drink, run. Run as fast as you can. She has proven she cannot hold her liquor. Is it a problem with me having fun and wanting to crack jokes and drink? This is my house. I don't have anywhere to go. Why can't I be tipsy in my own house? Cousins. Of Brayden. She is so extra. She's so dramatic. Sister we cousins know. of Brayden. Let her be her. As the eldest granddaughter of Frank and mm -hmm. Oscar and Brayden, I really want to salute all of us mm -hmm. to have a strengthened G2 bond. That's my glass. Up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now who done had too many beers? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So we we have had a busy week. It's mm -hmm. been um I'm exhausted. We got the current appraisal for the property. The property is worth eight hundred thousand dollars now. That's huge. That's amazing. And you and I are familiar with this because we work with a lot of developers and using the equity in the property to fund the development and the build of it. Yeah. That's a solid idea because when we look around what's going on in that area, change is mm -hmm. happening at a very rapid pace, right? Rapid. We understand property development and how you can take a piece of land at one value and turn it into something that has much higher value. And I think Jamisha sees the bigger picture, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, Granny is the boss, you know, and she's gonna do what she wants to do with her property. And y'all know Granny, if it make money, it makes sense to her, yeah. you know, but all we that, have to show that to her. I agree. And we all at, the, at that age where we all can manage it now, so. Wait, yeah. who gonna manage what? I'm saying like just the- Cause yeah. property managers. <laughs> oh, we, no, we, we, we ain't got time, but you know, we pay for convenience. We do get a convenience. Give me a refill, yeah. that was pretty good. I only had a half a glass. Feet. You need to See, stop I drinking. But y'all just gave me a half a glass. And that's what you told us to give you as a half Oh, glass. well, that's a good one. Y'all supposed that to one. tilt the glass. What did y'all think about the company's photo shoot today? I loved it. We look good. This is just, just a oh, sample. He's working but on it. But honey, it looks good. Look, Keisha. Look. look. We got, yeah. we got all Straight the faces. Up. Our faces. Look, hold on. Not like oh, our... my serious face and looks Nicole so stupid. Looks like okay, so up. this is what you do. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get a list. Smile. Mm-hmm. Put your eyebrows up. Stop smiling. <laughs> That's your serious face. Do it again. Smile. Smile. Nice, <laughs> Put your eyebrows up. But Misha does. No, that's your eyes. Your eyebrows. Yeah, oh, that's your eyes. This is your eyebrows. eyebrows. The one that's penciled on up here. That's okay. so shady. <laughs> What's that shady? I mean, it is not shady. It is just shady. Okay. <laughs> no, that's because y'all saw. No, it's no. a wall. No. Y'all got this yeah, wall, wall over wall. here. Oh, the wall. Oh, my bad. My Wait, bad. what? Oh, nope. nothing. Nothing. All right. <laughs> no, no, you take this and put this right here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that, you overkill. <laughs> I'm about to pee. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Jaquita and I, we're goofy, we're funny. Nicole, on the other hand, could be a little serious. Sometimes that does create a little tension when there's a serious conversation. Why would y'all say that? I'm curious, why would y'all say that? Before you got here, we were talking about um, you and Keisha's relationship. We were here about, we were laughing and tears and crying. I mean, we have those, it's just so, it's a lot of joy, but we feel like when, when you and Keisha are around, Keisha puts a wall up and she gets kind of guarded. I guess the wall was just bothering me because I don't want to be like, not saying like left out, I maybe I should use a better word, but I want to be their sister. The reason that wall was up there is just because like, I want to feel protected or just trust. We know like, okay, we can't joke with them. They the sensitive sisters. We can't joke with the sensitive sisters. Like, you know? <laughs> like, so we're not the sensitive sisters. We, we grew up different, right? But at the same time, too, like, you know, y'all just took a dig at the wall, you know, like, we, you talking about strengthening a relationship, then you make a mockery of it. It wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, who, me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, in all seriousness, it wasn't know, a mockery. And y'all still laughing about it now. Y'all made a mockery of it. So, like, <laughs> We're family, you can say how you feel, right? No problem with that at all. But what we're not gonna do is make fun of each other's hurtful moments. I'm gonna be honest, my feelings are hurt that y'all just made a mockery of it. I'm just gonna be honest. Sorry. I am. Yeah. That's a sensitive situation. And you've never expressed to me some of the things that you've expressed to them. And I, I get it, right? And so, and maybe I haven't created that safe space for you to do so. But I am still very hurt that they made light of the situation because for you and I, it's a serious matter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to go. I didn't like that. Y'all have a good night. You have a good night. I did not mean for that, Nicole. 
That's that's not how. Thanks for the crawfish. You're welcome. And you know I'm not about to go chase anybody now. Nicole likes to pretend that everything is okay. Nicole is a strong, independent woman. And in order to be that person, you have to be able to have a level of control over your life, your family. She definitely tries to keep everything on the straight and narrow from appearances. Nicole, it did. Yeah, I have a good night. Okay, I'll call you. Come take this microphone off me. All right, I'll call you. What a night. What a night. One, two, three. Great! In this room today is the largest independently black brokerage in Houston, Texas. We are four generations. Well, we get to be a part of the Braden legacy. We are a part of the second generation, the G2. We crazy. Well, I heard stretching is good before sex. Oh! <laughs> we messy. She was out there being a hoe. We funny. Why are you beating on the wall? Because I feel like walking all the way to your office. G2s want to buy it. the large slot, the two acre lot. Realistically, you're probably looking at seven to $10 million. Granny is not going to just give us the land. The G1s, I feel like for y'all is more of a payday. How many times has she sold <laughs> off her land to pay off the G1's bills? That's not true. I don't want our family to be destroyed. Oh, right. Money. I have not talked yet to Nicole. Now, I don't want you to feel pressured by anybody to do anything that you really don't want to do with it, you know? So did you pitch this idea behind our backs? We are family we are and family. we are one. Lakeisha and Nicole, they are sisters. Lakeisha has a different mother. Two women pregnant at the same time. He not gonna be a man. He not no man. Hopefully, when we tie the knot, we'll have everybody there. Caramel is my partner, girlfriend. Caramel's her real name? Oh, her stripper name. That's the name she gave <laughs> There was an instance with you and Keisha where there was like some arguing and bickering. Did you tell them what you did? Surviving the Braves. Hey, Nicole, where's Larry? Where's your phone? I called you. If he's not here, where is he? We're actually looking to keep it at the salary that you have. That is a slap in the face. That may not always be your husband. Ooh, Ooh. I'm ready for this. This is good. Y'all ready? Wait a minute. We are not going to be disrespectful to one another. Yes, yeah, because I'm sensitive. My mother mama died. He's waiting and put a hand on the damn team. Where camera going? Bye. 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 Shut the up. No. Come back. Come back. So when do you think you're going to be able to make a final decision? Granny's going to do what Granny wants to do. Yeah. Nobody said building a legacy would be easy. We might as well get along. We got to deal with each other. <laughs>